What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm DJ Vaz and this is going to be a special edition vlog. I'm so excited because today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new 2021 MacBook Pro. This is super exciting. My current laptop that I use to DJ, um, I bought it in 2013. It's an early 2013 MacBook Pro Retina display and it's like eight years old now and it's running super slow and having a slow laptop is very bad in the DJ industry um, especially if you're using Serato DJ Pro like me or any other DJ program I guess I'm so excited I'm gonna be unboxing this for you guys I'm gonna be talking about the specs and I'm also gonna tell you how to optimize your computer to run very very smoothly while using your DJ software so without further ado let's get into the unboxing yeah all right so here it is um, I'm just gonna turn it around so you guys have a better look. There's a little tab here, let's just peel that off. Ooh, nice. I don't know, maybe it's my age, but I don't really get excited about stuff very often, but I'm so stoked about it. Ooh, yes. As always, Apple doing a fantastic job with their packaging. Look at this, look, look at that, look at that. That's so cool. All right. Is there anything in this box? Just put that to the side. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. So clean. Yep. Yep. I'm a fan. Oh, yes. So clean. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fan. Wow, this is awesome. Let's see what else is in the box. Charger, USB-C, pretty cool. I like that, I like that a lot. Oh, thank God, I almost thought they wouldn't put this in. Yes, this is what I need, the USB-C. Okay, now this, my MacBook has those clippy things with the, with the charger that you can wrap the cable around with the new ones, they don't have it anymore, which is kind of a bummer because I missed that. Okay, set that aside. They usually give you stickers and stuff. Classic Apple stickers with the Mac logo. Um, usually they give you white ones, but this one's really cool. It's like space gray to match the, the color of the laptop there. That's cool. Ah, here we go, look. Touch bar, touch ID, power button. It's gonna be so exciting to unlock my DJ laptop with my fingerprint, that's cool. Headphone jack, cool, USB 4 ports, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna set the box aside and um, let's uh, set up the Mac. Cool. All right, we'll set the stickers aside as well and maybe I'll put the charger over here. Okay, and here she is in all her glory. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to optimize your laptop for it to be able to run Serato DJ Pro nice and smoothly. So let's get started. Okay, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is optimize your energy saver. So heading to system preferences and head into battery. Okay, here you wanna make sure you've checked the box that says prevent computer from sleeping automatically when display is off. Set your slider to never, and it's always a good pro tip to leave the battery status in the menu bar. Okay, another pro tip is to make sure you turn your Wi-Fi off during performances. It's very helpful to disable your Wi-Fi while using Serato DJ Pro. It just helps the program work more efficiently. And just a quick side note here, skip this step if you're using a music streaming service with your Serato software, because then you'll need an active internet connection. Next, what we wanna do is disable automatic updates. Okay, some updates to your Mac software can cause conflicts with Serato DJ Pro. So it's suggested to disable the automatic update functionality within your operating system, okay? If there's an update that you need, you can manually update your Mac software by clicking on the Apple menu in the upper left corner of your screen and just choosing the software update. So what we wanna do is head over to system preferences 
and click on software update and make sure the box that says automatically keep my Mac up to date is left unchecked. Do not tick this box. This is because when Apple create a new update, Serato still need to work on making their software compatible with this. So if your computer is set to automatically keep your Mac up to date, then um, there could be heaps of issues with regard to functionality of your software. There could be plenty of bugs that are present. So just make sure that's unchecked and wait for the email from Serato to let you know that it is safe to update your Mac and that your program will work on the new update. Anyway, moving on, and this next optimization tip is gonna be a little bit controversial. So let me know in the comments below if you agree with what I'm about to do. In their optimization guide, Serato.com recommend to disable file vault protection. This optimization will allow your hard drive to work more efficiently with Serato DJ Pro but it also leaves your computer a little bit unprotected because it doesn't encrypt your files. What you gotta do is open up system preferences, click on security and privacy, click on the file vault tab, and just sign in here. And then what I do is turn off file vault. Just put in my password, and then you just turn off encryption. Another helpful tip is to disable automatic brightness. So all you've got to do is head into system preferences, go to displays. All you have to do is uncheck the box that says automatically adjust brightness. And that's it. You have now optimized your computer to run smoothly with Serato DJ Pro. And once again, Thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me and I really, really enjoy making vlogs for you guys. I'm gonna be making so many gig vlogs. I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me to a lot of my gigs and I'm gonna be sharing everything that I do in my business. I'm gonna be sharing what I love with you. So I'm super excited and I'm so happy that you guys are with me on board for the ride. So guys, if this video has helped you in any way, Please like, subscribe, share it. Why am I doing this with my hands? I don't know. Like I said, like, subscribe, share it. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys. Bye.